recording studio from Airtime is a video media installation presented for the first time at Sona Band Gallery in 1973. As a description, spread over the exhibition space, there are seven stations. Each consists of a white radio box with a white stool beside it. Inside each box is an audio tape loop which skips from box to box, making sound to travel through space. These audios contain the voice of Bito Aconchi, addressing the viewer, telling stories so that the audience gets into the same tune as him. I'm transporting you out of here so I can be alone with her, he said. In the middle of the exhibition space, there's a TV monitor placed on a wall which shows a series of recording sessions that Aconchi taped three times a day for two weeks in a small closet in the gallery at the same time the work was presented. During the video performance, Aconchi sat with a video camera focused at his reflection in a mirror, conducting a 36-minute monologue with himself. Almost as a personal confessional, he talks about his five-year relationship with a woman, telling the details of their life together and his intimate feelings towards her. Action that couldn't have been possible without the introduction of the Sony Porta Pack in the mid-1960s. It's important to mention that, during the 70s, video represented a new creative space in which artists could be free from canonical traditions. Its capacity for questioning the one-way communication that television had made video art eager to explore a new way for interactive communication. Also, video allowed artists to experiment with the idea of body and with the idea of self by reflecting images of themselves through the camera. In our time, the mirror was used as a tool for self-reflexivity, where Akonchi pretends to make a composition in which he sees himself as others may see him, or, in this case, as his former partner saw him. I'm talking to you so that I can see myself the way you see me. I am recreating incidents in our life together. I want to see how ugly I am with you. He expressed on the video. This media installation is one of Akonchi's most psychologically intense exercises as he merges a private matter into the public life. Russell and Krauss, for example, stated in his paper Video, the Aesthetics of Narcissism that narcissism can be a genre which makes it a general theme for video art, while psychological aspects become the medium of the video. As the perfect example, in this work, Vito Aconchi addresses himself as emissary and receptor of his own image, and the public gets to see, well, this process through images on screen while hearing his voice through the audio speakers. About this work, we can also say that Aconchi is reconstructing his image and the eye on the subject. Like Jacques Lacan mirror stage concept, here Akanchi is reconstructing his own self-recognition through a mirror, gesture that can also work as a substitute for real interaction. Furthermore, he is documenting this process with a camera, which creates another reflection of himself, but in this case the new reflection is meant for the public eye, action that shows the dual relationship between ego and body, which is characterized by illusions of similarity and reciprocity, and the relationship between imaginary and the real. Finally, airtime reflects the process video artists are having to understand the scopes these new technological means can have, and as a mediating device, Vito Aconchi's airtime shows that video can have many uses and successfully adapt to new themes, new ways of interaction, and new cultural experiences, including different ways to present intimate introspection.